Audi and hello, I'm Doe. Hope we're doing good. Given the new ship upgrades, you're gonna need a lot more samples. To get those, look for defense campaigns on planets, so the one that has it, click it, and then search for a shield with an arrow on it. And the map orientation does matter. This one would be a bit more, I guess, time consuming than usual. But we have one as seen as such. This Primo. There's a science to this grind, if you will. But level 7 difficulty, there's no real need. It's wise to remove the contact mines from your contact list. I'll do a guided walk through the mission in a moment, but first, you can beat it and get a group of samples at the same time if you know how it works. You do want to have a decent loadout, though. I use the Auto Cannon, KG, Eagle Strike, Orbital Laser, and Vitality Booster, or I rock Railgun, Supply Pack, Eagle Strike, and Orbital Laser with Muscle Head Endurance like thing. Helps you go up hills and not get so encumbered and whatnot. If you're Jones and to press buttons on the objective, go ahead and bring EMS Mortar and regular Mortar versus the Automatons, the bots, not the bugs. And I use the Auto Cannon as well as the Precision Strike. The Peace Strike was for funsies, you can use whatever you want. It's been two months and players still don't know how the mission works. The bot drops and bug breaches target players. If you're on the objective, guess where they're all going. To your forehead on the objective. If you split up a little bit, some folks are on the objective. Now there's a chance those bot drops and bug breaches target them, putting pressure off the objective, making it a thousand times easier. This is important because you do want to get samples and you also want to beat the mission. You can do both. Just split up a little bit. Two folks on the objective, two folks off. That's a simple way to do it. All right, Psycho, I'm going to need you to hit the oh, survive button and then revive button. Psycho, you got that. Oof. You've been kicked from the game. Make it make sense. I don't get it, though. People are uneducated in this game somehow. Looking at the symbols on the map can tell you if there's samples at a POI or not. Most of the time, if there's a symbol like this, there are no more samples. If there's a diamond, there are samples. So I get close right here, and it should tell me... Thank you, brother. Diamond. Samples. Easy. In fact, there's a bunch of samples. I get sir. I should be using my grenade for that. Oh, there's a group of samples. Two up here. All these down yonder. If that ship goes to me, it's good. I'm almost done with the samples here. They're going to y'all, aren't they? And we're clear. From a diamond to that. Now, I think the best play to do this map would be you have a t your whole team land on the edge. Probably like around here. Or maybe back here so you don't aggro initially. And the folks that want to do the objective run the objective and do a POI on the way. And then the folks that want to go samples, they circle around the map like this. That way, you have a lot of things going on. You buy yourself more time. When you land on this mission, you're already missing a lot of time. You're missing 20 seconds, something like that. I thought he was a jetpack guy, but he was instead a dude with a minigun mounted. But when you land, you're already at 1420. That means you're missing a ton of time out the gate. So landing on the objective and doing all that nonsense you're just not being efficient you know what i mean and you can do whatever you want i'm just saying what i think people people getting offended it's a goodbye like what i'm saying are suggestions i don't tell folks how to play this mission i rarely even use voice chat just because other folks are the same boat i just want to play the game and chill not really have a chatty kathy competition which i understand And I do prefer going on the outskirts and then working my way innards. That way I don't forget stuff. Because I tend to forget just how close POIs can spawn towards the edge of the circle. They're not on it, but they're close. Probably right where this cursor goes is how far they can go. If I had to guess. This is going to have no samples. Dude, I'm telling you. This POI in particular has been consistent with having no samples. No samples 
if it has that blinking light thing. But the light can have stuff like metals, slips, credits. So it's worth hitting that light, but just don't worry about looting this POI for samples because there are none. Metals could be one through three in terms of ammo count. All right, um, Crazy Sword, I'm going to need you to hit that revive. I'm not asking for much here, but just hit the revive before you all die. Thank you so much. That's the only thing that gets people ang- Oh, it's perfect. Not that he died, but he called in revive for- He called in revive before he died. It's huge. People on this map will tend to all die at the same time and not revive. What happens with that is it makes them really not like me because I'm in Narnia doing my thing. Oh, B3, we just had this conversation. Thank you so much. I'm helping. I'm helping! Landed inside the building? What? Looking for sample rock. I didn't see it. If I had the scout armor, I could ping the map and see enemies that aren't moving towards me. If enemies aren't moving, that means that they are at a POI. If they are moving, well, usually it means that. Sometimes they're just a whole horde of enemies that aren't moving at all. But usually, patrols move. Stationary enemies indicate a point of interest. See, do I go far back over there? Nah, it's too far. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Pop a stim. No, no, no. Can't feed. I'm out here getting samples. I must provide my family. To do that, I gotta make it back to the ship. Oh no. Your body. Your body's grieving me! I need those samples so bad. Problem solved. Explosions fix most things, but not all. Calling down a sentry. And we're good. So apparently the new the new supply hanger stuff or the new stuff for support weapons giving you the ability to refill your entire magazines, clips, whatever is bugged so don't buy that at the moment it should be fixed in a week or so if not sooner but right now if you're gonna go buy some stuff in the stratagem nonsense with your samples your hard-earned hard-grinded samples maybe don't buy that because i heard it was busted Which i don't have it so i can't confirm and uh, i'm not gonna buy it because i don't want to confirm but even if it wasn't broken that's not one of the ones i would go for first if it was me but if you're a recoilless and or spear gamer, I could see why you'd want that. It's probably nuts for those weapons. I do wonder if supply pack affects it. I want to see that real bad. We're at seven minutes left. Potentially nine minutes, because when the timer hits zero and evac gets called regardless, which is why you shouldn't call it if you're grinding samples. This is going to be a door. I almost died. What? I should say get samples if you want, but I have to be quick. And get samples as fast as you can get samples if you want. Now, I don't, I don't believe I mentioned it, but difficulty does change how many samples you get. Although, with this mission in particular, chances are you can get the max samples roughly on level 7 difficulty as you would level 9. Although level 9, you have a chance to get, I think, 40, 46. The biggest difference would be you can't get more purple samples unless you do harder difficulties. But that doesn't matter. Because purple samples... Hello? 
my good sir. Lore is cool and all, but geez Louise. It doesn't matter you don't get that many purple samples. You don't because you don't need that many. Calling you need the mother trucker dude. Down a I hate it here. Absolutely loathe it here entirely. But purple samples, even with the new upgrades, it takes 15 per. There's six of them. What is that? Nah, that's, that's 90, no? That's 90. So even then, you have enough. If you're, if you're a purple sample cap, super sample cap, you already have enough. But with green and orange, it's 200 for one. So I think the grind shouldn't be for purple. It should be for orange and green. That could kill me faster than anything else. But man, this mission is so fun for me. It's always a good time to see how many I can get each time I do this. Trying to perfect the PR. Oh, him too as well. Smoked. Don't worry, we make it back in time. Oh my goodness. You have to die. You'll kill me. If that mine took me out, imagine. How? Oh no. Is the base overwhelmed? It's not looking too good. We have eagle strikes we can call we can call in. It's like I have reverb on my mic, but it's just me talking. So I think that this grenade pistol, I haven't really used it much, so I don't know. It seems to be there's no way I almost just died to my teammates' minds. Dude, that should be illegal. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered because we have we have time. Am I a scratch record? What's happening here? They're all the extraction point, so there is no saying. Oh well, maybe they don't want to evac right now, dude. Who calls down the evac ship? Chills at the evac site if they don't want to take the evac. Because what they could do is call on the evac early and have it there for when you're done getting samples and stuff. My thing is, it just makes more sense to not do that in case you don't make it back in time. Because when the evac gets called automatically, that's a clear sign like, yo, we don't have much time left. We have two, oh, we have two minutes actually. You can make it back to the evac site from any point on the map in two minutes. Heck, from the full edge, it takes maybe a minute ten. If you sprint there and maybe damage yourself to stem up to get stamina back. But not a bad haul. So level seven difficulty. You can get roughly 40 green, 30 orange, and then three purple. Which is on par with what you get other difficulties. Eight and nine would be 40, 30, and then I think it's five and six for purple. That mission we got a bit less overall, but I think the difficulty increase is not worth it for level 8. I did that mission once today, and my teammates got do -do destroyed because it was just crazy. There's so many things going on. I do believe that bugs are much easier for this mission in particular, simply because you can toss down the new, like, the new Napalm Strike with the buffs, Cluster bombs, gas strike if there's no bug, making it to it doesn't do damage. And it does work. But 51 samples. Not too shabby. What was the time on that mission? Like 12, 13, 14 minutes? That's nuts in terms of overall time save. Oh my goodness, let's go. Second time's a charm we're in. If this somehow has maximum samples. Oh, you guys are grinding with them sentry turrets. I respect it heavily. I do be running Scorcher with the grenade pistol and impact grenades. Grenade pistol, I don't think it's great outside of utility. 
but I'm not really one to use my sidearm to begin with. No, dude, six, ten, and three? That is garbage. I didn't feel right leaving the mission, so I figured may as well try and see what happens if I stay here and fight it out on the objective. And turns out it is the worst thing you could possibly do. I don't get why folks are saying to fight as a foreman holding hands with a friendship rope on the objective. This is chaos. It's not even fun chaos either. There's just way too many marauders. Marauders are the big thing here. They are unkillable and they chase you down. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> There's 17,000 raiders, man. Or marauders. Hey guys, why are we not playing on the objective? Come on, gang. It should be super simple. If we just all hold hands, obviously the power of friendship will overcome the odds of the automatons. Like, come on, man. I play this game two hours a year. Two, two hours this past month, man. I know exactly what's going on, all right? This mission... Yeah, I'm an expert. What can I say? That's how these kids seem. That's what they seem like to me when they say, Come on, guys. Go to the objective, okay? We should really be on the objective. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, how can we beat the mission? Uh, I'm not sure I was going for there. Mr. Mackey, if he was borderline occasion. Five minutes remaining. I repeat, five minutes Yeah, remaining. it's just... I don't... We Once you get overran on the base, you can't do anything. But the difference is... When you don't hold hands on the objective, you are bringing bot drops away from it, giving your team a chance. You know what I mean? Whereas, if you're on the objective, this is going to happen, unless you guys are absolute goaded on the, the weenies. But even then, what, what, I, don't, I don't get the... Like, why, why would you want to sit there on the objective and only get the experience and the requisitions when you could also get these samples? You don't understand how important the samples are, man! We got some freaking wicked upgrades in that hangar ship right now, in the ship module section. And you're gonna go ahead and pass on those because you want to try and beat the mission in the worst way possible. Play the game, I want to play the game, but if you're playing with randoms, there should be some sense of education to happen. And when it comes to button pressing, I don't mind doing it every now and again. I could take shifts. But when I press buttons, nobody gets samples. Even if they're not on the base. And they're out trying to get trying to do whatever they're doing they don't get they don't bring home the bacon just so we're clear always choose the smallest map that gives you the most samples so not always the smallest smallest map but the one that isn't massive is going to be the play more often than not this is a huge map it is practically twice the size of the missions i was doing before and the sample increase is next to nothing especially when you factor in how long it takes to traverse the entirety of the map i now have a whole other section Another half of the map, I had to travel to try and get through the POIs and whatnot. That is kind of brutal. So if you're picking the missions yourself, go for one that is the semicircle for that map variety. And there's different designs. It's not just going to be a small circle surrounded by water, a semicircle with water on top, and a full-blown circle. It's going to instead be a whole bunch of nonsense on different maps. And so far, the bug missions, the one, the previous video I did of this, that had the best map by far. It was practically a, sh a slanted line. It was so speedy. You could do, you could get all the samples yourself in less than 10 minutes. That was good times. Anyway, hopefully the video helps you in some way. If you want, I can do this again when we get some new stuff to make it interesting. But I'm going to go ahead and work on the videos for, I guess, the overview on the new Warbond weapons and then eventually other stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Peace.